Hey guys! So I thought I'd do a video to give you an update. And uh, this November 1st will be three years that I have been vegan. And um, it will be nearly three years of zero arthritis pains. So I am back at my hometown in Mississauga, Ontario in Canada. And today is a cold autumn day. Um, brisk and cloudy and humid and rainy. So on a day like today, before I went vegan, I would be in pain. My feet would be swelling, my hands would be swelling and throbbing, and possibly some other sores too. Um, and my hips as well. So I just wanted to take the opportunity to do this film on a day like today to show you that even though I should have arthritis pains, <laughs> or should, I don't. And I am really happy <laughs> about that. I feel free and liberated and to be honest I barely remember what it was like to have the pains to begin with. Um, so yeah that's just an update. It's been nearly three years of zero pain. I'd say by January it'll be about three years of no pain because it was two months after going vegan that it all went away. Um, the first video I did on arthritis I was in Australia um, living in the rainforest where it rains quite a bit and it gets pretty humid, the precipitation is pretty high and I thought well maybe it's my the location but I'm back. I'm back here where I used to have arthritis pains really really badly on a day where I should be suffering and I'm not. So um, I guess I just wanted to say that for those of you who are still questioning whether you should go vegan or not or give up animal products. Um, you know, I'm, I'm an example of it. So hopefully you make the decision to not only care for the animals and the planet, but to also care about yourself and your own health. You know, loving yourself is very important. So love yourself, be strong. You can do it. I have faith in you. I did it. I'm of Portuguese background. You know, the Portuguese culture, all we do is eat meat, meat, meat. You have a big, pig on your table, um, seafood like crazy. The culture is just full of meat um, and you know of strong Catholic background as well. So it was pretty tough mentally to make the change. Um, mainly because my family just didn't understand it and they're pretty much against it. It was difficult. I was judged. And I understand what it's like. I know it's not easy. It's not easy. Change is not easy. But without change, where's the growth? How do we evolve? If you're someone who's suffering from arthritis or any other disease, a plant-based diet, even better, going vegan, um, will probably help you. I'm no doctor, but I'm a living example. So yeah, if you have any questions, ask away. I have a Facebook page, Vegan Susie. Um, you can always just private message me on that page or just ask questions below, comment, like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel. I wanna see everyone happy. We didn't specifically have confirmation that plant-based diets brought down anti-proteus antibodies until now. Those that responded to the plant-based diet showed a significant drop in anti-proteus mirabilis antibodies compared to the control group. Maybe it just dropped immune responses across the board? No, antibody levels against other bugs remained the same. So the assumption is that the veg diet reduced urinary or gut levels of the bug.
A shift from an omnivorous to a vegetarian diet has profound influence on the composition of our urine. For example, higher levels of lignans in the urine of those eating vegetarian. Uh, up until now, it was just thought that they, they protected people eating more plant-based from getting cancer. But now we know lignans can also have antimicrobial properties as well, so maybe helping to clear proteas from our system. Thank you.